<laughs> Good day, everybody. Welcome to Dr. Tom's Tips Case of the Week 2021. Today, we're going to see an incredible veneering case, but we're especially excited because in addition to seeing that case, what we're also going to show you is Dr. Hirsch using the new Isolite Anterior Isolation System. So with that, good morning, Dr. Hirsch. How are you? Hey, everybody. Good morning, Rolando and all those fabulous dentists out there. Uh, great to see you. And actually, where'd my picture go? Oh, your picture. Oh, you want yeah, okay, we'll it. You, you lost my picture. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to talk about Bluetooth this morning. Bluetooth technology. And here we have Bluetooth technology. Okay, let's get into this whole thing. So um, <laughs> one of the challenges that I've always had in working with patients, can I have my picture back again? I'm full screen here. I don't like that. Oh, okay. No, no, I'm just resetting it. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So one, right. one of the challenges that I have in uh, working with anterior uh, dentistry is visibility and keeping the lips up and out of the way. And so what we used to do is we take cotton rolls, we jam cotton rolls all over the place, you know, four across the front and under the lip and, and <laughs> up like that. And man, I'm, you know, got those things in there and that's fine. That kind of gets the lip up and out of the way. and Kind of gets the lip up and out of the way, but not really. And they get wet and they're kind of, and they have to be changed all the time. So then great new product, a great product came along the Opter Gate. I love the Opter Gate. It's been a fabulous product and all that. But my issue that I had personally, and maybe you guys didn't, I had just the toughest time putting this thing in and still to date, I do. I, I haven't found the magic to put the OptiGate in yet, although once it's in, so this is a lovely product, great for scanning, gets the lips up and out of the way. Um, the oral rubber dam, if you will. So that's nice. So because of that frustration and because everybody kept asking me, why don't I develop an anterior mouthpiece? We did. So we came up with an anterior mouthpiece that we're going to introduce today on that case. And this is it, it's the Isolite anterior mouthpiece. Take it out of the pack. Just like that. And that goes, it pops in the mouth and just keeps the lips up and out of the way. And for me, this was just a real easy way to uh, have evacuation, which I was not able to get with the operator. I had to have my assistant in there, but just it goes in really quick and easy to kind of and that's what you get it goes in and out that easy um we're just kind of introducing this this is my first introduction to that so i just kind of wanted to show you a case not even the prep case but the cementation because i wasn't smart enough to take pictures while i was prepping it with this thing you know it was just me but i will show you another prep case with the anterior system so this is the first introduction on a very limited basis of our new anterior mouthpiece, and Isolite will tell you more about, or Rolanda will tell you more about that. So let's roll into this case just so you can kind of see Bluetooth technology and how it was going. Okay, here we go. We got a 65 year old male. Uh, look at all the composites that he had there. There's a two front teeth, there's the laterals. Even the cuspids had a lot of restorations, but due to finances, he couldn't afford to do all 16 at the same time. So we just chose to do four teeth at this time, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We prepped it. But what's cool about this whole situation and the isolation aspect of it is that lip is up and out of the way. There's no cotton rolls. Uh, if you look, can you point things out, Rolando, on the inside of a mouse? Yes, right there. Yeah, okay. But get after that brush goes by, show them the tongue retract, the throat protector on the back part right, there. Right here. Right, right behind my mirror there, as soon as I get my mirror out of the way. There's something that in case you drop anything, you know, it's going to go right up against that. It's not going down the throat, which is really cool. And we're speeding this video up as much as possible. You mean you don't work that fast? <laughs> Some days. <laughs> Some days I do. You know, they say you got to slow down to go faster. But this is connected via... This goes right into the isolite. So this is connected with this little device right here, right into the isolite. So I yeah. noticed Dr. Hirsch... The water is going straight down into the throat. You're not having to worry about it because it's evacuating. It's evacuating everything out. So this little this little dealy whopper right here, the vacuum can go on the right side of the patient's mouth, or you can take it over, take it off, and you can flip it on the left side right there. So it can go this way or that way, either way you want it to go. But here we go. We're just bonding everything. 
And the thing that, that I really want you to notice that kind of one of the takeaways right here, the lip is up and out of the way. I'm not changing a cotton roll and I'm not dealing with the lip. I don't have to pull on the lip at all. So that's a takeaway right there. And the second takeaway is my assistant, rather than evacuating and retracting, she has her other two hands just going full speed outside the mouth, getting everything ready, getting the bonding agents ready, passing me the light, getting the cement ready, getting the crowns ready, where I'm by myself and I can just go ahead and do all this curing and everything that I have to do right here in the picture. And so now we're getting ready to place the crowns. So we've already, we tried them in, we adjusted the contact, we checked the occlusion and all that. So here we go, we bonded it and we're replacing, the, we're seating the crowns right now. I like to seat them one at a time, not cure them, but seat them one at a time. And the product that I use for this is called Insure and it's totally light cured. So it's not a dual cure resin cement. It's, a, it's cured by light only and that way I've got all the time I need to clean up the cement and floss and don't have to worry about rushing for a, for a time set at all. So that's just kind of nice. And Dr. Hirsch, predictability. We've heard that predictability is important. How does this help in, in maintaining that, making your case a lot more predictable? Oh, the thing that's nice is, you know, I know that if the lips are up and out of the way and I can just concentrate on my preps and I don't have to worry about things going down the throat, it's just an easy, predictable situation. You know, it's going to be the same thing with minor variations every time. Um, so it's just nice. It's just easy. So you can see I'm not, even, even though the camera's sped up, I'm just not rushing. I take all the time I want to get all that cement off, clean it up. Right and there. you don't you don't have to worry about anything falling down the throat. No, no. It, it looks like as 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 you're going through the procedure, the mouth's kept open really nicely. Yeah. So you don't need that bite block, right? Yeah. Yeah. And these teeth, they look a little whiter on the video than they do in the mouth. It shows up uh, just a little bit whiter, but he wanted them a little bit whiter anyway. Anyway, so you can kind of see, you know, your assistant is there with her extra hands and. It, this is just like the anterior mouth base is like the, the fifth and sixth hand in the operatory. So now we're doing six-handed dentistry instead of four-handed dentistry. Oh, make sure you guys put on a glycerin gel for the oxygen inhibitor layer. That's super important so you don't get any staining around your margins. That's super, super important. We do it facial and lingually. And I just use, you know, nothing fancy. It's just KY, KY jelly. Just get it at the pharmacy. Cure it, and that's pretty much it. But just notice... My assistant, not once in this entire procedure, has gone in the mouth to evacuate any saliva or any moisture. It's just being taken away, which is just, it's super. It's just easy. Yeah, and I noticed the tongue is down in here. It's yep. blocking yep. everything. And then as far as it looks like you can connect your evacuation either one side or the other, depending yep. on access you have. Do you, run into, do you run into any issues with the with the actually the lips now they're they're completely out of the way it looks like it's it's out of the way so depending this is an important factor depending on on whether i'm working on the upper or the lower oh back here in the very back point the bite block area out there's a little right. bite block right back there on both sides of the patient and rest or john so depending on how much lips lip retraction i actually need i can actually position this farther forward or farther backwards so if i pop this in my own mouth like this Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you can pull it in and out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There you go. All right. <laughs> and then that's kind of in the nutshell. Yeah, and notice all that water's going down. I mean, we're flooding the heck out of that patient and it's all getting sucked up. So that's just one of the, ni the nice features. I mean, Optergate's a fabulous product. Uh, this one makes you takes it to the next level. Oh, and then this is how you take it out? I pull it right out. It comes out really easy. And then also, the other thing is, here's, I uh, just want to show, there you go. Place oh, this is the insertion of that whole thing. I already have the saliva, the uh, ice light connected up right here on that side. So that's just how easy it goes in and out. Anyway, so this, the point was, I just wanted to introduce you to a, a new product that we have today. 
That is awesome. And as far as that case is concerned, if without the system, how long would it normally take you to, to kind of do a, a veneering case like that? You know, you've been using it a lot. Rolando, I don't think it would have taken me a whole lot longer to do that case, <clears throat> but it just would have been more of a hassle with me changing cotton rolls and worrying about evacuation and worrying about something going down the mouth. So, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe it gave me a 10 to 20% speed up in time, but as I said, not that much longer. You know, I think that case took me an hour to seat. Might have taken me an hour and 15 minutes otherwise. So it's not its not the fact that I can go faster. It's the fact that there's less headaches and less hassles. It's just, it's more predictable and easier. There you go. You know, <laughs> awesome. When you, when you can do six-handed dentistry instead of four-handed dentistry, I'd rather do that. I'd rather do, I'd rather do four-handed dentistry other than two-handed dentistry. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing that case. Those of you... If you have uh, interest in the new Isolite anterior isolation system, you can either click on the link associated with this video or go to store.zyrus.com. If you like this content, please share. Please send, uh, send us comments, uh, any questions. We're looking forward to it. Dr. Hirsch has a whole bunch of really cool cases that you'll be seeing up here thank you so much for doing that and yeah you know next time we'll do this i will you know next time i'm prepping something i'll do the preps next time you know this time we just seated everything god if we could seat everything without prepping wouldn't that be nice <laughs> have a wonderful week okay, have a gang. fantastic rest of your rest of your week and yep. everybody be safe out there take care and uh, have a good one awesome thank you sir thank you bye now